say fight back. We say fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight, fight, fight back. My pay and the pay of other lecturers has been cut by 13 to 15 percent in the last four years. We are being offered one percent. Our vice chancellor is on a quarter of a million pounds a year. Vice chancellors are getting an average of eight percent a year pay increase. There is money in the system to pay us a decent wage. There's two billion at least in the in UK higher education to pay us a decent wage beyond the feeble one percent we've been offered so far. We are in total support of a fair pay for our staff because if the staff are happy, we the students are happy. Um, a lot of the time there's a bit of a conflict among the student movement whereby the students just want to come in and study but a lot of us understand that there is a lot of struggle going on. We cannot succeed and we cannot do anything without the support of our staff. It's not just about pay, it's about the fact that our university among a lot of others is making a profit from student fees and that profit like everywhere in the country is going into capital projects and buildings to try and attract rich students. And we're trying to say to, to those first transfers, we want that profit invested in teaching. The national union leadership of our union and the national leadership of Unison have had, had to be pushed and kicked and shoved into calling this action. It's about time they got off their backsides and organised the kind of action that we need to win. It's absolutely crucial in 2014 that Unison and local government finally stands up and fights back. Because quite frankly, Unison members in local government, and for that matter in the National Health Service, should be fighting alongside Unison members in higher education. After the last five years of real pay cuts, the typical wage of a local government worker in England and Wales has fallen by some 18%. We actually see dozens of workers in school canteens on little more than the £6.31 an hour national minimum wage. We had support today from a, a local dispute, MUT members on strike against an academy that refuses to recognise their union. They organised the union, the National Union of Teachers in that school. They went to the management and said that if you don't give us recognition we're going to take strike action. Management initially we're going to concede that, but then didn't, and now they're out actually on strike. And they will come out on strike again next week, and they will keep striking until we win union recognition. Once we've got union recognition, we are going to fight to get them on decent terms and conditions. They were forced to sign a contract which included zero hours, which included minimum statutory maternity provision, which only allowed them 15 days paid sick leave a year. At the end of March, we are going to be coming out on strike again in support of our pensions, in support of our right to our proper pay increase and in support of our conditions. So really, we're fighting the same fight as you are. It would be fantastic if the unions that are battling on in higher education immediately convene a meeting with the NUT and the other unions that are prepared to take action and said, why can't we shut down education as a whole? on March 26th as part of the action needed to win. We've seen a solid strike by the RMT and TESA. It shows the power of the organised working class. We might win major concessions now that the bosses have seen the power, as I say, that we can bring London to a standstill. We don't want to do that. We don't want to hurt the ordinary Londoner. We want to hurt big business and their representatives. But unfortunately, we have to take that action to defend our conditions. What is needed is a uni unified struggle of all of the trade unions in this country. It's a question of regional and a national general strike. OK, I was going to do two poems. I'm only going to do one because I'm absolutely freezing. <laughs> this is what we want, and I want you to help me with this. I want you to help me with this because at the end of every line, I want you all to say, we want a decent pay rise. We don't want to struggle to survive. We want a decent pay rise. We're sick of listening to government lies. We want a decent pay rise. Staff leaving because they're so poor. 
We want a decent pay rise. Had enough, we say no more. We want a decent pay rise. Cleaners working so hard they can become ill. We want a decent pay rise. Security staff who can't pay their bills. We want a decent pay rise. Registry, library, student services. We want a decent pay rise. Caterers, admin, and human resources. We want a decent pay rise. 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 We want a decent pay rise.